Good evening, I'm Ross from Crimsworth Property Accountants and I'm going to look today at a townhouse. So I searched for a brand new townhouse in Dunedin and this is the first property that popped up. So we're just going to go through the numbers quickly and see what we think of it. So the property I found was brand new townhouse. Um, it's for 639000 You can see there's about 30, maybe 40 in the complex. So that would be one of the big first things that always jumps to my mind is how many car parks are there? There. Um, each of these have probably got one car park. Maybe they've got four people living there. Where, where's the other three cars going to go? Um, so that's always something to, to think about is number of car parks, um, who's going to park where, how that is going to work. But we've basically got a two bedroom, one bathroom, 77 square metre. $639,000 property. Um, the rent apparently is rented for $595 a week. So I had a quick look on the rates for Dunedin and I could pick up what the rates look like, which was cool. Um, I could look at the future levies and also the Levies and see it's about 3,300. Um, I had a quick look on an issue website and you can get a quick idea of what a quote is for insurance. So about 1,600 in this case. So it helps me start to put together those numbers. So if I was actually buying this property, um, you probably the first thing I would look at is this cash flow. I would look what do we expect the cash flow to be like over um, the current year and then over the next 10 years. So 639,000, I've been nice and done 52 weeks, but I'd probably, yeah, probably normally allow for a little bit less, especially when there's 30 or 40, they probably all try and get rented at the same time. Maybe you get a little bit less. It's a 4.84 percent gross yield um that's that's okay compared with other properties but with interest rates over six percent it's obviously going to be a negative property I've got expenses in here. It might not have a, bo a body corporate, but there's going to be some sort of owner's association or residence association. There's shared car parking, um, yeah, driveways, gardens. There's going to be some costs in there. Insurance, um, from that quick quote, about sixteen fifty. Interest rates, I've left at 6.9% at the moment, but obviously interest rates have come down a little bit later. So we're trying to get a little bit better rate than that if we can. Property management rates was about 3300 I allow about $500 repairs for a new build, generally very low for the first 10 years. Some training, some education, maybe you join something like your local property investors association. I've been a member of Waikato, I think, for over 20 years now. So it's great to belong to them. Go along to some of those meetings, see what other people are doing without the sales pitch. Some travel, $100 perhaps higher. Maybe if you're Dunedin, that's quite realistic. So some quick numbers, 31000 rent in roundabout, 56 out losing 25,000. Ouch, that's quite a lot of cash. So that is the, the one year picture. Then I generally have a little bit of a summary. So my summary gives us what the average cash flow is over the, or estimated over the next 10 years. Um, interest only minus $9,000. So that's quite a big loss per year. You're going to have to put in 90,000 roundabout over the next 10 years, um, just interest only. If you had to go to P&I, which is something we do generally want to do to try and get the cash flow better long term and reduce the risk on town, uh, townhouses, minus 18,000. The cash loss for the next three years, obviously we're expecting interest rates to stay a little bit high, minus uh, 61,000. So yeah, don't, not loving those figures, they're not great. If you did buy something like this, to me, I'd much rather have three to five townhouses. Um, 30 to 40 to me is a lot, a lot of people, a lot of car parking issues, a lot of owners association or potty corporate issues. Um, so that would be one. Um, and I think also you'd have to put in pay down some money. You'd have to put some extra cash in that. You'd have to have some surplus that you could throw at this property, at least the P&I, so that you start to get that mortgage down. And if we look over a 10-year period, we're looking at the first, oh, it's the first um, nine years we're not going to make any money. Um, it's only in year 10 that I'm estimating we're going to make a huge $185. So the cash flow on this, realistically, all you're doing is gambling on a capital gain. Um, so with this property, would I buy it how it is? 
No. Um, got no interest in such a big loss and such a big gamble, especially when it's part of 30 or 40. Um, what I would look at it in today's market is the price. So just because the developers are asking for 639 or the financial planners trying to sell it to you for 639, that doesn't mean what it's really worth. Um, and then second part to that is I would probably offer a whole lot. So in today's market, properties are not selling. For new townhouses, there's a lot of them available. You can pretty much go to any city as well. Um, I would be looking for at least $100,000 um, discount. So that would obviously improve those numbers a little bit. If we bought it for 539, obviously our interest is lower. Our first year cash flow comes down. Um, our cash flow over the 10 years comes down. Loss over the three years comes down. Um, it's going to break even a lot earlier. Um, in year seven instead of year 10. So that would be something that you could look at. Um, in this case, I'd probably yeah, is a hundred thousand enough? Um, I'm not sure about that, but that would be the things that I'd be looking for. Um, have a look at our Facebook post. We've also put some other ideas up on there and some other things that you should be looking at if you're looking at buying um a new townhouse. So hopefully you've found that useful and hopefully that helps you when you're looking at property. Thanks a lot. Bye.